Hello guys, I'm Seraphim190, welcome back to my channel. I mean channel, Samuel. Guys, thanks for coming to my channel. Um, check this out, I've been working on this today. This is pretty epic. Um, right now, you can't really see what this is, but it's basically an underground tavern that no one can see. Totally hidden, guys. Right now, I'm actually standing on it right now, believe it or not. I've covered it up completely, so it's completely hidden, guys, and you cannot see it. So when I put the redstone down, it opens up into a secret cavity. And here you can see I've color-coded the block, so you can see the red block is where you put the redstone. The blue block will take me down, so this is what it looks like underneath. Personally, I don't like any dead giveaways. I like to be completely hidden in the earth without anybody knowing where I am. So this is a perfect tutorial for you guys who like to play factions or survival or any type of thing like that. I'm, all right, I'm pretty sure if you guys are still watching, you'd like to know what to build it with. So we need 16 pieces of redstone dust. We need about three comparators and about five star. Look, guys, look, I made a mess. But basically, these are the things we're going to need, guys. I'm sorry, but we need five. We need five slime blocks and five sticky pistons, two redstone blocks and a big gaping hole right here, guys. So just make a real big hole, real big, like, right quick. Like so. Okay, so this is about as big as you want. You want three sticky pistons facing up. Very simple build, guys. So we want slime blocks, three across, and two more on top of the middle one. Okay, so now we need a block of choice, and we're going to start... Actually, you know what, guys? We need an immovable, unmovable, unmovable block. You can use an oven or whatever you want to use, but I'm going to use this obsidian because it looks good. Okay, so now you want to repeat it in one tick facing into that and another immovable block on the opposite side with three blocks of choice out and one across okay and one up and then we're going to make a bridge here see where the slime block is we need obsidian one block higher and then back bridge it down again so as you can see it's it's a yeah. so one more block out and another block to the next one see it's like a pattern here so one block down like a step when you get to that last obsidian block this is where the redstone's gonna go. Okay, so we're gonna have redstone here, redstone here, and bridge that gap all the way to that obsidian right here, but first we need a repeater on one tick. And coming out on the other end will be another repeater on one tick. And just connect that up with some more redstone. So one here, one here, and all the way down to the repeater, which also should be on two ticks. So they're all two ticks, so you just tick them once. Get it, guys? I don't... Alright, so there we go, it's all there. Um, okay, so the next step is very simple. What we want to do is come out around here at the front and put one block of choice here, one here, and curl it around here. So we have an L shape, and we're going to get out a repeater and put it here on one tick. Two ticks, sorry. And some redstone just to connect it, those two blocks to that repeater. Now we want a block on top on the corner there, one block high, one block over, and another one over. So we've got three blocks in the air here, okay, so now all we need is to get out some more and make it four blocks to the one, see that shape, and another two here. So there we go, we've got six blocks here and one sticking out further. So in the middle you want a comparator facing that way and another comparator facing the opposite direction. And then you want to connect them together using redstone dust. Just like that. This is uh, basically where the torch is going to go. We're going to test that out soon. But first what we should do is put a block up one here so it goes just before the next bridge. And put a bit of redstone on top of this block as well. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now get, what else do we need? Okay, so we're going we're gonna to actually get block of choice, one, two... And uh, we're trying to get a sticky piston facing down, so we have a redstone block here and now we want a sticky piston. So get out a block of choice so you can put your sticky piston facing up right here on the corner. There we go, so break that block and it should look just like this. Okay, this is pretty pretty, it's moving along really well, so let's keep going guys, we're nearly there. So come back around to the front waves and let's get out a stove, uh, an oven guys, because 
I'll tell you why in a minute, but place your redstone torch right here and it should activate guys. If it hasn't activated, you might want to rewind it and try it again, but it, sh it should activate like this. So we're going to get out our furnace and we're going to actually put it here. You can also use an obsidian block if you wish. Uh, I'm just going to use it because it matches the white here. Put another block here with a button on it, okay? So that's that. So on top of the slime block, you want to put a block of choice here. One next to it. Two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to have one off the edge here. Make it a bit thicker on both sides. So we're going to have six by th uh, nine by three, I think. Whatever. But it looks like this, guys. So we've got this here happening. So count three blocks over. Facing down, we're going to have a sticky piston facing down. And then we're going to stick a block of choice. Um, you know what, guys? We need another oven for a reason this time, okay? It's not just because it's an immovable block. Because we actually need a piece of coal in there as well for this whole thing to work. That oven actually has to have an item in it. So... Put a bit of redstone block there under that piston. And now you want a redstone dust on top of that redstone block right there next to this piston that's facing up. Put a block of choice next to that piston right here. And you want a comparator facing this way. Don't tick off the comparator, just leave that as is. And get another block here, here. Break this one. Redstone dust right in the middle. So break the block in the middle, it should look like this. Uh, oh yeah, get out the redstone dust, whack it there. And what else did we need? Let's think. There! Okay, yeah, so put two blocks here, guys, next to that comparator, and back up to that block there. So you've got two blocks here. And we want a, we want a repeater on one tick facing in with redstone dust behind it. Uh, this is where the oven... Uh, we're going to block... Actually, we're going to have a block of choice right here. So the power goes straight through into the next piston. So that's why. And have that on one tick. And uh, what else? Oh yeah, whack a block right in here, guys. And you'll see it'll start to activate. Okay, you'll see one block higher now. That's cool. Just uh, remove that. That means it worked. So this is perfect. Wasn't sure if it was going to work, but it did. So put a bit of redstone dust there, and you'll come down here. And when you press this button, you can step back on there, and you'll... Ah! Okay, so you want to you want to build a wall around it and make it look awesome. So I'm going to completely hide it with grass blocks and immovable blocks. So here again, you can see uh, this is where it's going to be. Put the redstone down, you go inside, come back out. Um, so yeah, let's just make it all grass so it looks completely hidden. So whack the redstone down. In here we go, guys. This is freaking amazing. I love this build. Very, very cool. If you guys like this video as much as I did, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with the internet. I'm on the Facebook now.